This video describes an A-frame mast raising system that I built for a trailerable sailboat. This is a fairly common way of raising a sailboat mast, and I've seen these things made from lumber, electrical conduit, even fiberglass paint roller poles. I wanted mine to be kind of marine grade, so I used aluminum, stainless steel, and teak. I started out with a model because I wanted to verify that I had the geometry right and, well, because building models is fun. My next task was to find materials to make the full-size version. My main component is a pair of 8 foot long aluminum tubes. They're 1 and a quarter inch in diameter with a quarter inch wall thickness. They'd be fine at half that thickness, probably even less but oddly enough the thicker walled tubes happen to be a lot less expensive from the source that I used. My hinges are made with stainless steel angle and plate and the base plates are teak. This is the final product um, laid out on my garage floor. The base plates and the hinges are the fiddly part because they have to conform to the angles of the boat's deck and they have to align each leg's hinge axis so that the assembled A-frame swings straight fore and aft. I use wing nuts on one side of the triangle plate at the apex so that I can easily separate the frame into two pieces. Here it is on the boat and you can really see how thick those tubes are from this angle. The base plates wedge against the tow rails and the lifeline stanchions and I use a small shackle to buckle them to the stanchion and make sure that they stay where they belong. I use my main halyard to attach the mast to the frame and I also attach the jib halyard for redundancy. A 3 to 1 block and tackle attaches to the 4 state chain plate and raising the mast is just a matter of hauling on the line. I run the line through one of my jib cleats so that I can cleat it off and stop at any point if I need to. You can see that I have my left hand on the mast but I'm not really doing any lifting with it. I just feel better about having a hand on there. Once the mast is up, I can cleat off the line, go forward, and attach the forestay, and then I'm ready to finish rigging the boat. Because the shrouds attach well below the mast step, they don't tighten up until the mast is almost all the way up. So to stabilize my mast in the side-to-side -side axis while I'm raising it, I use these temporary rope stays. The three ropes that you see attached to the lifeline stanchions hold the ring in line with the hinge point of the mast step, and the longer lines loop around the spreader brackets and back down to the rings. I like to tie up the loose halyard ends and the wire for my mast light so that they don't get pinched under the mast as it goes up. I've never tried it, but theoretically the lifting rig could be left on deck in case I needed to lower the mast while underway, maybe to get under a bridge or something. Lowering the mast is the reverse of putting it up. With the A-frame rigged as before, I unhook the forestay and let out line. I 
I have to give the mast a little pull to get it started going back because the weight of the A-frame and, and the friction on the lines tend to hold it vertical. I can cleat off the line and stop at any point while I'm lowering the mast, just like I could when I was raising it. And again, you see my hand on the mast, not so much guiding or lifting as just reassuring myself that it's going where I want it to go. And once the mast touches down, I can take the halyards loose and lower the A-frame and I'm ready to start rigging the boat for the road.